Being pretty anxious all made last night. change the game for me. I have a very long to-do list to do today. Basically, it's going to be a huge gist day. We're just going to get my shit together because it needs to be gotten together at least a little bit more. I'm going to start by going to Walmart because I'm out of coffee. I haven't had any yet. I pick up a few things because I'm hosting Bachelor Night tonight. And then later on in the day, I need to go to a different store because the store that I go to has like really good quality wine for like a cheap price. So we're gonna go to Walmart first. It's 10 o'clock. Let's get this show on the road. We are back from Walmart. I didn't vlog. I was honestly only in there for like 10 minutes, picked up three things, that's it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It's really boring, but I'm gonna show you anyways. I really need iced coffee because I'm out of iced coffee and hot coffee. So I just picked up the iced coffee from Starbucks. This is the medium roast. I usually just get whatever is cheapest. So this was cheapest at Walmart. So this is the one that I got. Also got some queso blanco. I'm gonna do chips and queso as like an appetizer for bachelor tonight. And this is really cheap and really Really good i've had it before and then i'm also making pasta i don't have any pasta sauce but i had pasta already so i just just picked up some traditional boring old marinara glad i got it out of the way and now i'm gonna go get my day started because it's almost 11 o'clock already just made my iced coffee and then i'm gonna eat my overnight oats that i made last night before i get going Okay, so this is what my room looked before. Not ideal, but not the worst it's ever been either. I just get really lazy throughout the week and I don't pick up as I go and it definitely shows in this clip. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that because this needs to, it needs to be better. My first tip is to make your bed. Making your bed is a huge difference, especially for me when I just throw my pillows on the ground. It makes a huge difference in the way that my room looks. Next, we're moving on to my desk. I get pretty bad about leaving dirty dishes and trash on there. So I take that all downstairs, put it away where it belongs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my closet, really just reorganize it throughout the week. I get, once again, lazy. And I just throw clothes everywhere. So I'm just picking those up putting ones that are dirty in a pile, taking that down to the laundry room, and then folding and hanging the ones that just need to be rehang. And that really helps me feel better, even though the closet is mostly closed all the time, it just makes me feel overall better. Here is an after clip for you guys. I would say this only took me about half an hour, but I feel so much better and I'm so glad that I got it done. It really does like help me feel less anxious and having a clean space is so important. So I hope this gives you guys some motivation to clean your space and it really doesn't take long. Just take 15, 20 minutes and you'll feel so much better. Also, here is a time lapse of me folding some laundry for your enjoyment while watching Janine. I was like, who am I watching? Janine and Amapola in the background. So please enjoy this time lapse of laundry folding. This is my sad looking breakfast. It be like that sometimes, but I'm still gonna eat it. Coffee, good to go. Good morning. I am so lazy. Just laying down in bed, watching YouTube, catching up. It's one o'clock, haven't really moved. Good afternoon and happy Tuesday. We have had such a lazy morning, but I'm turning that around. I just got back from the gym. I like literally forced myself to go. I was like, Jenna, just go, get up. You'll feel so much better after you go. And I do. So I'm really glad I got that done. It's three o'clock now, which is crazy. The day is going by so fast. I did like 20 minutes on the bike. And then I also did 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. That's like one of my favorite things to do when I just want to do something quick. Oh, really good. And I'm really red and sweaty now, as you can tell. <laughs> as far as getting back on track, we're going to do some more like inner stuff. So starting with like going to the gym, eat a decent healthy breakfast. I had a lot of protein in that breakfast, but you know, it's no carbs, so that's good. I'm going to make myself some lunch in a little bit because I'm finally getting hungry for lunch. To focus on doing things that make me feel good on the inside. So I'm going to do some bullet journaling. That's something that I found recently and really helps me with my anxiety. The whole spread that is anxiety based. 
I did a circle. Inside the circle, I did things that are causing me anxiety that I can control. And outside of the circle, I did things that are causing me anxiety that I can't control. It really helped putting it into perspective for me. Most of the things that are causing me anxiety are things that I literally have nothing to do with. I can't control. I can't change. It helps to see it written down and you're like, oh, I can't change that. I can't control that. Why am I freaking out about these things but i can you know change and control these things so i should really pinpoint and focus on the things that are causing me anxiety that i can actually control and do better for myself so really what today's focus is going to be about is focusing more on my inner self and bettering myself by eating better working out i really want to try to not drink throughout the week anymore with the exception of Mondays being bachelor nights. But that's almost over so I just really think that'll help me overall. Alcohol is a depressant and I think I've finally realized that so just a little life update and I've noticed a huge difference in the way I feel without drinking soda. I've really cut back on my soda intake. I honestly feel worse when I drink soda now and I used to have soda a lot so I feel way better on cutting back on my soda intake and I think if I cut back on my alcohol intake that'll really like change the game for me. I think it's going to be a little bit rocky in the beginning um and I don't think I can go cold turkey so I'm gonna try and drink like three days a week. I think I already drank yesterday so I have two days left this week to drink. Here and talk to you guys give you a little update for today and I will check in with you later. It is about four o'clock now. I'm feeling pretty anxious all of a sudden. I'm not sure exactly why. I did some, some breathing techniques that really worked for me and calmed me down and that kind of helped when I'm still like kind of anxious a little bit. I'm gonna do something that works and focus on something else, which is cleaning the kitchen. I think cleaning the kitchen, listening to music while doing that will really help like distract me and like focus on something else. I find cleaning really relaxing actually so that's what i'm gonna do alexa play the album lover by taylor swift one of my favorite albums to listen to by the way right now recommend And in this video here, I do, oh, that's bothering me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and in this video here, I wanted to point out I feel so much better after cleaning the kitchen and listening to music. Big tip for you guys. Guys, if you ever feel anxious, try to focus on something else rather than focusing on what's going inside your head. I know it's easier said than done, but it really does help. So much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos from me. I am going to try to post once a week now. Hold me to it. See you guys next week. Bye.